Okay guys, I am back for another keto update. I think this is the end of my week seven or eight, I can't remember, but I'm coming up on my two months of um, this way of eating. So uh, last week I was 178.6 and this morning I was 177.3, so 1.3 pound loss. I actually saw 176 point something um, on the scale early, early in the week, but then I bounced up. I always bounce up by Thursday and then Friday I seem to come down, so. I don't know. It's just what I do. So, um, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, another loss. Um, I have been doing uh, experimenting with the intermittent, intermittent fasting and with um, some calorie cycling. So, I'm still kind of tweaking that a little bit. Um, I did, I don't know, three, maybe four days of 16-hour um, fast and eight-hour feeding schedule and then one day I did 18 hours maybe probably one of those days was the 18 hours but that was only because I was at a meeting and I couldn't get back to my office to eat lunch until later than I expected so it went to eight, 18 hours um I wasn't like ravenous or anything and that's part of the beauty of keto is not being um super crazy hungry so that the fasting is going pretty good um and then like on, on there's been a few days where I just was hungry in the morning so I didn't fast that day and I just had my breakfast earlier or whatever meal you want to call it. I kind of don't know what my meals are really anymore. Um, I have uh, been experiencing for the last week or so um, like these feelings of being like a bit of lethargic and a little bit weak and the lethargic I was kind of chalking up to I had we had to put um, one of our dogs down on Saturday and I thought well maybe I'm just like really depressed over that but uh, but like my muscles felt really weak to my arms and my legs and so I started doing more, more research, still doing, listening to all these research videos and stuff. And so I did more research on keto and feeling weak. And what I found was it's probably an electrolyte problem, which is really common with keto because you need more sodium and potassium and magnesium um, with the keto diet. And um, I haven't been eating that much um, potassium rich foods other than eggs. So. And also one of the things I found was that something that could cause a potassium deficiency, which is what I think it is, I'm still, you know, figuring that out, but was um, taking a fluid pill and doing keto can also cause like muscle um, weakness and fatigue and stuff. So I stopped taking my fluid pill a few days ago. My, my doctor actually really didn't want me taking it every day, but I've always taken it every day because I'm always swollen. So I stopped taking it about three days ago and my swelling hasn't gotten worse and obviously the scale went down. So maybe I really don't need it while I'm on keto, which would not be a fantastic benefit of keto. Um, so yeah, I stopped taking that. I've upped my potassium, I've upped my magnesium. I've always taken it um, a little bit of extra potassium anyway because I've had um, leg cramp issues. And um, I always have potassium and magnesium in my one a day, but so I just added a little bit more. So um, the last, like today is probably my best day so far. So I feel like I'm kind of getting that vitamin um, electrolyte thing figured out. So that's really good. Um, so anyway, part of this video is going to be a full day of eating. I've been recording what I'm eating and drinking today. So um, that'll follow this video. I think that is everything I've had. I have. I've been. I didn't go to my step classes on Saturday because obviously that was the day that um, we had to say goodbye to sugar. But um, I went two days this week, and I plan on going tomorrow morning just like I normally do. That's what I, I usually do three days a week, two hours um, a, a time. So I do an hour of step and an hour of sculpt. And that's another thing I am fun, and I had dropped down my weights when I did my sculpt class because my muscles have been feeling weak for the last, you know, ever since I've been doing keto. And then this week I was able to start upping them back up again. So that's great. I feel like I'm getting back to where I was. And um, I've gotten a lot of comments on people in, uh, from my stuff class and just in life in general. Uh, people noticing that um, my weight's gone down or that I, I look different. I, um, I look great, blah, blah, blah. So that's really, really nice to hear that it's a little bit of positive affirmation. Um, I am getting into clothes that I hadn't worn um, either at all. There was a dress I posted on Facebook, a picture um, that I've been having this dress for like a year and a half, maybe longer. And um, I finally fit into it and got to wear it this week. So that was exciting. So it's kind of like that fun losing phase again it's been exciting so all right so stay tuned if you want to watch people were asking what i eat every day and so um this is just a 
today's full day of eating. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, here's the start of the full day of eating. Um, my day starts the way it has for uh, ever, for like almost the last five years. Um, I'm going to have 16 ounces of water with my Friday vitamins. And then um, at the same time, I'm going to be cooking, I mean, I'm fixing my coffee. So I have a packet of Splenda, my favorite coffee, the French Market Coffee and Chicory. And then I'm just, I usually put a tablespoon of heavy cream and a tablespoon of Coffee Mate, uh, the sugar-free Italian sweet cream. You see, I got my tablespoon. I measure it every morning. Um, but this morning, I think I'm just going to do a tablespoon of heavy cream. And I'm going to try um, adding a couple of droplets of the vanilla cream um, sweet leaf. I got that from... It's the liquid stevia. I got that from Whole Foods ages ago. And I use that in my fat bombs. But I figured I'm trying to cut down in, um, like on the, the this kind of creamer here. So I'm um, just something I'm going to try. And then after that, I'll come back and show you um, how I'm going to fix my lunch for today. Okay. Okay, I'm getting ready to um, fix my lunch for tomorrow. Uh, today, I am doing my intermittent fasting. So the last time I ate was about 8.30 last night. And I'll probably eat about, uh, for the, I'll break my fast other than the coffee. I know strict people don't consider the coffee breaking the fast. But um, I'll break my fast at about 1 o'clock today when I eat lunch. So what do I have here is um, some Kerrygold butter. I have some in the pan there getting ready to cook. Two eggs. I'm going to scramble them. And then I put cheese on one side. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But I have half of my my pepper jack shredded cheese, which I love that. And then, um, like one serving of that and then one serving of the mozzarella cheese. I have it weighed out. And the scale already turned off. But um, this is like my favorite way to fix eggs. So I will show you what it looks like when it's ready. Okay, so I kind of made the egg part into an omelet. And I have my cheese sprinkled on top, just kind of layered. And I'm getting ready to flip it over. I'll be right back after I flip it. Okay, and that is what the eggs look like when you flip them over. So it has like a nice, toasty, cheesy crust on the outside. It's really, really yummy. So I'm going to put it in my container, and I will heat that up for lunch and have that around, like I said, 1 o'clock. Okay, it is 4 o'clock. I had my lunch at about 1.15, and I'm getting ready to have three of these uh, spicy cheese. Um, is this salami? Yeah, this is a salami-wrapped mozzarella. Um stats so this is the stats for four pieces but I'm only up three so it's like 225 and I don't know just under 20 grams of fat less than two carbs yeah super good snack really yummy okay, I'll be back with dinner okay so it is 7 15 and I'm getting ready to eat dinner I have a salad here with um, iceberg lettuce mix um, and I did about 30 grams of spinach because I'm trying to get more potassium in my diet. I have shrimp and there's some mozzarella cheese in there and two tablespoons of the dressing. Oh, let me show you. Oh, and I have two little drumettes that I'm going to have on the side. This is the dressing that I'm eating. It's, I think it's a local, this is a local New Orleans, uh, tomato Orleans. And there's the stats there, 120 calories, 13 fat, only one carb. So it's great. I will be back in a little bit. I'm going to have a snack when I, uh, when we're watching a movie, okay? Okay, I'm doing this last video before we start the movie, so I don't have to stop it midway. But this is a cheesecake fat bomb that I made. They're super, super good. It tastes like cheesecake, like frozen cheesecake. Next time I do it, I'll probably put popsicle sticks in the top. So I can eat it like that and make it easier. And then I'll probably have a couple servings of these Curly Q pork skins. I really like those. They're crunchy and yummy. So, yeah. Um, let me do... John, can you see me over here? <laughs> do the video. Okay. So, uh, that pretty much concludes my day. The only other thing I might do is have a cup of coffee. And if so, that's like 50 calories because I'll do one tablespoon of... Uh, my creamer but um i'll put my stats at the end i know i'm at 1300 calories right now and all my macros are right on point so that's it i hope y'all enjoy thanks bye